What is the answer for this question? Uh, this 2, 3, 4, 6 of Sunnah Al-Tirmidhi tells us when we wake up in the morning secured in dwelling, health in our body, and have food for a day, then it is as if the world has gathered for us. Okay, good. And who is the best of the friends of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? In Question. Hadith 2347 two, of Sunnah al Tirmidhi, yeah. says that the best friend of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is the one of major conditions who share is in Salat, worshipping his Lord well and obeying him in private. He is obscure among the people such that the finger are not pointed toward him. His provision are only what is sufficient and he is patient with that. His death comes quickly. His mourners are few and his inheritance is little. What will happen if you eat a lot? You forget about Allah. Yes, you are neglectful about yeah. religion. And what will happen if you eat a little? You will remember Allah more. Yes. Who is a successful person? According to Hadith 2348 of Sunnah Al-Tirmidhi, the one who has accepted Islam and has just sufficient income and is content with Allah, that is a successful person. Today we will read from the book Sahih Al-Bukhari. So, what we have is Amina. Yes. Read this hadith. Babul Fadli here. So, Hadith Asim. Okay. In Arabic, or this one? Yeah. In English. Read it in English. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muslim woman. Start from here. Okay. Do you see the screen? Yeah. Then start. Read Abu Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira رضي الله عنه. Prophet Sallallahu Prophet said, Muslim woman, none of the should look down, open the gift, send by her, the neighbor, even if the way the, that's it for the sheep. Fleshless part on the leg. Flesh part on the leg. So basically, the, this hadith is means that we sh we must accept gift whenever anyone give even if it is a small gift or a gift of less mm -hmm. we need to accept it so here we will write the question for this hadith Atradia. 
we reject the gift the question here that you all need to write is can we reject a gift the answer in the answer you will all will write according to the hadith 2566 of Sahih al-Bukhari no we cannot reject a gift even if it is of little value or it is from a person that we dislike. So I will repeat the answer now. According to Hadith 2566 of Sayy al-Bukhari, no, we cannot reject a gift even if it is worthless or it is from a person that we don't like. Next student, Aisha Bibi. Do you hear us? Yes. Wa alaikum wa salam. Kindly repeat the question and the answer that we have just written. Are you talking to me? Oh, Aisha Bibi. Aisha Khan, do you have a notebook? Yes or no? Yes, I have. Okay, repeat the question and repeat the answer. Muhammad, did you write the question? Ah uh, yes, can we reject a gift? Yes. In uh, um two hundred two hundred uh, two five six six of Sahih Al Abu Bukhari, we cannot reject a gift even if it is of a little value, or okay. it is from a person we dislike. Correct. Now read the next of this twenty five sixty seven. Uh, two five six seven narrated Urwa Aisha radiallahu anha said to me, Oh, my nephew, we used to see the crescent, and the crescent in this way we, we saw three crescent in two months, and no fire for cooking used to be made in the houses of Allah Messenger. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. I said, Oh, my aunt, then what used to sustain to sustain you? Aisha said. The two black things, debt and water. Our neighbors from Ansar had some manaya, and they used to present Allah message, Allah's messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, some of their milk, and he used to make us drink. Here we have a word, mania, and its food, meaning is written in the footnote. Mania is the plural of mania, which means read this. Mania is the plural of maniha, which means a special sort of gift in the form of a she camel or a sheep which is given temporarily so that its milk may be used and then it is returned to the owner. So this is another kind of gift. If you are living in a rural area and you see some of your neighbors are very poor, they don't have even food to buy. So you can give them one of your milking animal like uh, milking goat 
milking uh, cow milking camel and they will keep it they will milk that animal to feed their children and after a few days they can return it to you so this is another example of a giving gift okay so no need to write any question from this one so just an example now do you live in a city or in a rural area Uh, where this uh, this hadith yes so do you live in a city or in a rural area i live in a city mm -hmm. so it, this hadith is for those who live in rural areas and have animals so it is like this okay next student aisha bibi do you hear us aisha khan yeah i can hear Okay, read this hadith. Narrated Abu Muraira, the Prophet said, I shall accept the invitation even if I were invited to a meal of a sheep or trotter, and I shall accept the gift even if it were an arm or a trotter. Of a sheep. Okay, so here we have another. Sometime our relatives call give us invitation at their homes. So can we reject an invitation? The answer is we should not reject an invitation uh, according to Hadith 2568 of Sayyid Al Bukhari. We should not reject the invitation even if it is from a person that we dislike we can only reject invitation if it is for un-Islamic events or un-Islamic parties. I will repeat the answer now according to the Hadith 2568 of Sayyid al-Bukhari. We should not reject an invitation even if it is from a person that we dislike. We can reject invitation if it is we can reject the invitation to un Islamic parties or events. Aisha, did you write the answer? Yeah. Okay, repeat the question and the answer. When we reject an invitation, we should not reject an invitation even if it is from a person uh, that we dislike or we can reject 
invitation. Uh, an, an invitation if it is a non Muslim. If it is an uh, to a non Islamic event. Non Islamic event. Or a party. For example, if, you know, if there is an invitation to a party where people will drink alcohol, then we can reject the invitation. If there is an invitation to a party where people will dance, we can reject the invitation. Then in Pakistan, India, people invite us to their Mehndi ceremony in the marriages. So Mehndi is an Hindu event. Nothing it is. Uh, so even if we can reject Mehndi invitation. Then in Pakistan, India, people invite us to Bharat. Bharat is also an Hindu event. Nothing to do with Muslims. So we can reject the invitation to Barat ceremonies in marriages. Okay? Yeah. Next student, Um Muhammad. Narrated Abu Sa'id that the Prophet wasallam said, assign a share for me with you. Next narrated, narrated Sahal radiallahu anhu, the Prophet wasallam sent for a woman from the immigrants and she had a slave who was a carpenter. The Prophet wasallam said to her, order your, order your slave to prepare the wood pieces for the pulpit. So she ordered her slave who went and cut the wood from the tamarisk and prepared the pulpit for the Prophet When he finished the pulpit, the woman informed the Prophet that it had been finished. The Prophet asked her to send the pulpit to him. So they, so they, bought, they brought it. The Prophet lifted it and placed it at the place in which you see now. So normally Islam does not allow us to ask anyone. But we can ask our friends or other people for small favors, which is not included in begging. So here we have two examples. In first, the Prophet asked them to put a share for him as well. Then he asked a lady to ask his carpenter to make a wooden pulpit. So we can do such things. No, if other person agree, then not, nothing wrong in it. No need to write any question for it. Next student we have is Fatima Abdullah. Aisha Bibi. Aisha Khan. Yes. Narrated Abdullah bin Abu Qatada al Aslami that his father Rizilatranha said, One day I was sitting with some of the Prophet's uh, companions on the way to Hakka. Allah Messenger was ahead of us. All of my companions were in the state of Ihram while I was a non-Muslim, non-Mahrim, non-Mahrim Desa and Onager while I was busy repairing my shoes. So they, I, they, so they, did not tell me about it, but they wished I had seen it by chance. I looked up and saw it. So I tried, I turned to the horse, saddled it and rode on it, forgetting to take the spear and the whip. whip. I... I asked them if they would hand over to me the whip and the spear, but they said no. 
by Allah we shall not help you in that in any way I become I became angry and got down from the horse picked up picked up both the thing and rode the horse again I attack the manager and uh, slot third it and brought it they took it looked some of it and started eating it but they doubt whether it was allowed for them uh, to eat it or not as they were in the state of ihram so we proceeded and i had with me one of its four legs when we met allah messenger sallam, and asked him about the case he asked do you have a pro portion of it with you i replied in a in the affirmative and gave him that fleshy for leg and he ate all of it while he was in the state of Iran. The state of Iran. So here we have few things. Do you know what is Mohrim and non Mohrim? Mm. No, I don't know. When we go to Makkah to perform Umrah or to perform Hajj, men wear white clothes. Yeah. So that white cloth is known as Ihram. And anyone who is wearing that white uh, Ihram is called Muhrim. And a person who is not wearing that white Aram is called non mohrim So okay. in that case, mm -hmm. they were also going to Makkah. I don't mm -hmm. know whether that was for, uh, uh, probably that was for Hajj. So they were mm -hmm. wearing the Aram for mm -hmm. Hajj. And all of them were mohrim except this Sahabi. He was non mohrim He was not wearing Aram clothes. Now this is the first thing. Second thing is this that normally when a person is hungry, he can hunt animals for food. But a person who is mohrim, he cannot hunt animals for food. So in this case, they were also mohrim, so they did not help him in hunting that onegar neither they supported him in hunting so that's why that is, is the reason why nobody helped him in hunting that onegar third thing is that can a mohrim eat the meat of a hunted animal the answer is yes because here the Sahaba also ate and Prophet وسلم, also ate the meat. So this means uh, uh, if a uh, uh, Muharim cannot hunt the animal but if anyone else hunt the animal then he or she can eat the meat of that animal. Nothing wrong in it. So these days when we go to Makkah we don't find any animal also we have food with us. So no need to write any question for this you will probably not need this thing in your life. So we just read it and understood it. If anybody has any question, they can ask. Next student is Ummu Ahmad. Chapter, uh, chapter 4, whoever asks others to give him water. Narrated Anas Anas radiallahu anhu once Allah, Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
visited us in this house of ours and asked for something to drink. We milk one of our sheep and mix it with water from this well of ours and gave it to him. Abu Bakr was sitting on his left side and Umar in front of him and Abedouin on his right side. When Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam finished, Umar said to Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Here is Abu Bakr. But Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave the remaining milk to the Bedouin and said twice, the person on the right side. So start from the right side, Anas added, added it is the Prophet Sunnah and repeated it thrice. So basically, first thing, whenever we can, whenever we visit anyone's house and we are feeling thirsty, we can ask them for water. Nothing wrong in it. Second thing, whenever we are sharing anything, we must start from the person who is sitting to our right side. Okay. So this hadith tells us that whenever we start sharing anything, we must start from the person sitting at our right side. No need to write any questions about this or this as well. Just hold for a minute. Okay, next student. Aisha Khan. Accepting the gift of game, the Prophet ﷺ accepted the fleshy for leg of the game from Abu Katada. Do you know what is game here? No. Hunting animal for food. In old time when there were not enough food for the people, they used to hunt wild animals for food. So that uh, meat is called game. Okay. Okay. Next, read the next. Narrated Anastasia we provoked a rabbit at Mar as Zahran till it started jumping and the people ran after it but were ex hasted. I overpowered and catch it and gave it to Abu. Talha, who slaughtered it and sent its hip or two thighs to Allah Messenger, وسلم, the narrator confirmed that he sent two thighs and Prophet وسلم, accepted that the sub narrator asked Anas. Did the Prophet eat from it? Anas replied, he ate from it. So we have two things. First thing is, is the meat of rabbit halal? The answer is yes. Because Prophet Sallallahu ate here. So this means the meat of rabbit is halal. Is rabbit meat Halal. The answer is yes. So according to the Hadith 2572, rabbit meat is halal. Miss Asha, repeat the question and the answer. Is rabbit meat halal? Yes. Halal. Reference. What is the reference for your answer? Um, two, two five seventy two. Two five seventy two of which book? Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih al Bukhari. Also write the reference with the answer. Okay. 
Second thing is when anyone give us the meat of their hunt, shall we take it? Yes, we can take it. Nothing wrong in it because Prophet Sallallahu accepted this gift. We will stop here and next time inshallah we will continue. If anybody has any question, they can ask me. Okay, now you both make the picture of your answers and send me the answer.